All right, good morning, and welcome to another session of Links Digital Online Series. So today we'll be continuing with our logos for Heartbeats and other parts of our project. So later we're going to assemble everything together on the website. So we'll be doing that another day. But today we'll be continuing with another Canva tutorial. This is our fifth session already. Right, so let's get to it. Right, so copy. And today we'll be looking at the program Hard Code. Right, so we're gonna create a translation box for this. Change it up. Some elements we won't be needing in this picture. Just need to remove them. So apparently, I can click on this picture, but I need to kind of deselect this first. Right, okay. It's weird. That's my alarm. Right, so we have this, we have this. Yeah, I'll just play around with the fonts. Alright, so now let's go on to our translator bot. So, Translators are all about conversations, uh, translating between two conversations. So we will try to use speech bubbles, but let's not use the same one, although it might kind of work. So let me just toss the idea around with this uh, speech bubble we have here. We have one and another one, something like this. This will work. Yeah, but we've got to bear in mind that we are sticking to the theme in which we have one logo in the middle as well as some fringe designs in maroon colour. So this one will definitely not be it. Maybe let's look at other speech bubbles. Okay, so now we have something going, some speech bubbles, and we have like multiple conversations going on. So we're trying to bring in different elements now to this picture. So, of course it's a code, so let's put in some peppy stuff. So one thing you can do if you're looking for inspiration is to look for similar projects that do ideas or like logos which have similar intents. So for example, if you're looking at a robot or translator, yeah, robots will be a good way to start. And the first thing I think of will be something like this robot over here from Reddit. So it's orange in colour, I guess. That's why I kind of made the association. But you can look at something long line round head shrinks out our speech bubble over here so we can kind of make the association and make some tweaks along the way so if they have ears we can have speech bubbles or if there's like an antenna sticking out from the head we can think of something else to put from the top so it will look similar but definitely with our own twist to it so let's get to it
Let's continue to come up with something that fits the theme. Let's look back at the different kind of elements that we have. It's a little hard to get something that really fits. It's been taking a while. I'm sure we'll find something along the way. We're we'll trying to play around with wires, but it doesn't really seem that we can get wires to go our way. And I think I'm trying to look for free hand drawing tools. Actually, maybe that might be a better option in this case. Let's try to see if there's any free hands here. I don't think so, actually. Maybe we can do something like this. Uh, oh, because it's a pointing finger, we'll want it to hold the mouse. Maybe could it? I don't think it really works that well. Look for keyboard again, I think that's some value in this, but it's just about finding the right keyboard that's a bit hard. So many of them out here. And the problem about designing sometimes is if you don't really have the elements that you want, the ideas kind of get stuck along the way. This thing's wrong. <laughs> Not sure why to. You can get the idea of wires coming out from the speech bubbles, but because the wires are so fixed, there's only like this number of wires that they are. And it kind of calls in a very rigid arrangement. So it's tough to actually get one that I want. Like this doesn't even look like a keyboard to me. <laughs> One way we can go about this uh, kind of half drawing is to crop up the images and let it stretch in the direction that I want to. So let me show you an example. Something along this line of like stretching upwards, but um, let's leave that out for now. I actually quite like this. Uh, not really sure how it's gonna go, but let's see. Hmm. Alright, so I think we'll be leaving it as of this for now. So, uh, we're going to do a bit of touching up after this, but I think it comes about the essence of the whole design going computer, tech, and some elements of what we see in the computer. Keyboard, track using the mouse and the cursor. So, let's go work on it later on and we'll see what can come out of this. But, this is another, this is the end of this session and yep, hope to see you soon.